General Motors, hit hard by the weakening U.S. economy, outlined a series of steps Tuesday to help cover losses and turn around its North American operations. In short, our plan is not a plan to survive. It is a plan to win. The plan will involve a reduction in the number of salaried workers, slashing truck and SUV production by 300,000 units, double the previous estimate, and the elimination of health care benefits for salaried retirees. Well, on a personal basis, clearly for someone to have a reduction in their benefits is bad news and, and unfortunate. On the other hand, on a corporate basis, given their financial troubles and marketplace difficulty, the company does have to act, and it's more important to make sure that it's a viable and ongoing company so that they can continue to pay the existing benefits. GM says retirees would get a pension increase from the company's overfunded pension fund to help compensate for Medicare and supplemental insurance. Uh, the union's retirees are going to be fine. The announcement this morning of the uh, health care being cut off at age 65 is for the salaried folks. They mentioned that they were going to increase their pensions to try to offset that, but it wouldn't be 100%. And, you know, you feel bad for them. You don't want to see anybody lose anything, but uh, that's just the way it is today. GM also plans to raise $2 billion to $4 billion through the sale of assets, including its Hummer brand. The company intends to borrow up to $3 billion by pledging assets, including stocks, as well as a stake in its finance and real estate arm. GM says the moves will raise $15 billion and help position it for future growth. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.